Hi, my name is Dave. Today I'm going to show you a Goto High Score model 454. This is almost identical to the Goto model 106. I think in all practical respects, it's the, exactly the same telescope. Uh, now the Goto High Score model 454 has a focal length of 1300 millimeters with the 75 millimeter aperture. That means that it's an f17.3 approximately, which is really quite long. A typical focal ratio for these things is f15, maybe f14. Uh, so f17 is really, really long. And Goto also made a 60 millimeter f20, which is a long drink of water. This one is a long drink of water, especially for a three inch scope. And it handles, in many respects, uh, very similarly to a, about a four inch, three and a half inch anyway. So it's, it's a sizable telescope. And the optics on this thing are breathtaking, superb. Um, they used an innovative kind of a, an optical design. Uh, I'm not going to go into any detail on that, but it doesn't have any spacers. Um, and it's a really wonderful optical system. It, it just produces superb images. So anyway, I think you'll find that this is a wonderful, interesting, innovative kind of a telescope. Um, quite charming in many respects. All right, let's look at the packing scheme for this telescope. Of course, you guys go right in there. Use the OTA. This is a portal prism in here, finder down here. Inside here we have uh, an eyepiece. This is the, let's see, it's the 12.5 to 25 convertible eyepiece system. These are not original, so these would not have gone there. This is also out of place. It would have gone up here and there would have been a remote control in there. Here is the star diagonal. And down here is this. Boy, this is, I love this. You got a, a whole little box. A set of eyepieces in there. Uh, actually two eyepieces and a sun filter, which you never use, of course. Nine millimeter, six millimeter. Um, so you get a pretty, pretty fair assortment of magnifications. This is one of the original legs from this scope, and as you can see, for, for whatever reason, I have no idea why, it had been amputated. I suppose probably it got broken, or maybe somebody just wanted to put it on a table of some sort. I have no, no clue. Anyway, um, they certainly weren't long enough, so that's why I had to make these replicas. They're not perfect replicas, and the finish isn't ideal, but uh, they work fine. They're nice and sturdy. These are nice, beefy, sturdy legs. This is an original knob for one of these telescopes. And you can see that when I made these replicas, the replicas, eh, they're kind of close, uh, but they're only, only approximately close. They really wouldn't fool anybody that knows the difference. But by the same token, they're sort of close, and I'm just trying to pay respect to the telescope. Here's a close-up look at the mount on this scope. I've got another video on a Model 106, which is, in all respects, identical maybe a few very minor, minor differences, but essentially identical to this scope. Um, now, you can see that this has the interesting and unique feature that if you want to reverse this, 
there is no way to attach the slow motion to the other side. So what you have to do is lock this down, unlock it down here, rotate this whole thing around, and now the remote is on the back side. So if you're uh, switching orientations going from east to west, so to speak, then that's what you would do. Interesting, quite innovative. Also, so let me show you this. These are not original, and they're the wrong size. So I made some little adapters here. These could easily be removed if I ever find the right, uh, the exact right knobs, which is very unlikely. And then I'll be able to uh, replace those if I need to. Now I don't really, I don't really recommend this, but I'm going to try it anyway, just for fun. Let's see if we can change. Oh, <laughs> you, have to, <laughs> you have to exert some torque on it. It's not that bad, but suppose you needed to do that. You could do that. <laughs> Let's put it back to where it was. It's a little heavy on that side. One thing I wanted to show you about this scope was this unique and interesting mounting system for the solar screens. This is quite unusual. Never have seen anything quite like this. So let me put this on there and show you how it works. First you have to unscrew this. All you have to do is loosen that. Put this back together like that. How is this for snazzy and strange? Now this thing just threads right on here. So now we have a pretty much a standard sort of a straight through kind of a projection system. Now let's convert this over the other way. First thing we do is loosen this, rotate it like so. Now we're going to need to rotate this down like that. Now we're going to star diagonal like that. And because we really, we no longer need this black screen. So look what they did. They hinged the darn thing. So they hinged it. Now you can move it up here like so. Get it out of the way. How is that for cool? Talk about strange, funny. Uh, this is a, a wonderful telescope, if only for that bizarre feature. That by itself is enough to sell me on this telescope. I hope you've enjoyed having a look at the Goto High Score Model 454 three-inch telescope from the, about the 1960s. Thank you very much for watching.